friend Russ. I could tell you where we're going if it wasn't for all this fog and if you could read a bloody map well. Also, our performance is tomorrow night. Yeah, but we have to meet Mr. Cooper. Sounds of papers. Also, we had a reservation at the Hollywood Tower Hotel at 9.40 p.m. Yeah. It's 11.50 p.m. and you don't even know where you're going. Oh, why did we choose the bloody hotel? It's not even close to Hollywood. Uh, Murdoch, I, I need to pee. Oh, that's great. Big baby boy. Now what? Shut the hell up, 2D! Russell told you to go to the toilet before! That was four hours ago. is manner. That's what I would like to know. You don't search this place. I would love to do that, Mats, but to this foot broke my phone in the drift. God damn, Judy! Russell, Stuart, no one! S sorry, I forgot my phone at home. My phone isn't charged. Why don't you use your phone? Oh, well, let's see what we got over here. Um, oh dear, guess what? No signal! Well, what's up? We're stuck. Look, guys, there should be an owner, right? We should ask the owner if we can spend the night over here. Yes, and we can all tell the owner that we got here by mistake, since we were lost. Thanks to the fact that we lost our hotel reservation to spend the night. No, that's rubbish. Come on. It's not that hard to find another hotel at this time of night. I mean, we've gotten worse. Remember that hotel in Guadalajara that we got last minute of last year? Oh, oh yes, so. I hope the owner has a nice car because I won't be here. Yeah, it, it, you know, it, just because I'm not a bad person, I'll give you five seconds to decide. Ah, oh, see? Wasn't that hard? Did Murdoch just... It's okay, 2D. It's not the first time. Yeah, I think things will be much better from now on. I mean, the fog's disappearing, and believe me, I always know how to fix things. Yeah, perhaps we'll probably have a nice hotel. Uh, is a cigarette? Oh, oh, thank you very much. I don't... Yeah, you know, Russ, it's kind of weird coming from you. Oh, it's a... I can smoke. Just be careful. Smoke kills. Don't go in there! That's all 
empty mansion! Those cosplayers, I saw them! Okay. No, I, I saw real ghosts! Not props, not other ghosts! I saw ghosts! Real ghosts! Dead people talking! Blue dead people! Steenite spirits! Spirits, you know, you know! Murdoch, enough. It's not funny. Oi, you shouldn't joke about that, Murdoch. I'm warning you, don't go into that mansion! Tom, Phil, you have seen worse than ghosts. Don't be scared. Maybe you really need to rest now. What? I'm not a coward. I'm not... A... Never said you were one. Let's go. Sweet automatic door. Hello, is uh, is anyone home? Welcome, visitors, to Gracie's Manor. He will be your host, but you'll refer to him as Master Gracie from now on. It's okay, Gilbert. You can leave now. Yes, Master. Oh, I. You must be the owner of the mansion. Nice to meet you. So, what brings you here, young travelers? We are musicians and, uh, as you can see, we were on our way to New Orleans because we had a performance scheduled. Thanks to a funny incident, we ended up here. We lost our hotel and we were wondering if you could give us a hospitality for tonight in your mansion. We're so sorry to have to come to your home without prior notice. Oh, you don't have anything to worry about. I understand your situation. You are all welcomed. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, this is too weird. Uh, I give up. If you want to stay here, I don't. It seems that after all, you will stay tonight. Oh, yeah. I had Cheetos. I got a real appetite. Kindly step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. <laughs> Our tour begins here in this gallery. Here, where you see paintings of some of our guests as they appeared in their corruptible mortal state. Hold on. Mortal state? It is a way of calling those who have left us in this world. Sadly, all of them have passed away. I am... Oh, Noodle, that's a sensitive topic. You shouldn't joke about that. Master Gracie, she is so sorry. She has no idea what she's talking about. Now, as they say, alive and we'll continue our little tour and let's all stay together please what a miserable storm it makes the gray sky turn so blue rhetorically of course everyone wants to have a blue sky literally so tell me a little more about all of you Strangers have all of my attention. Of course, my name is Russell Hobbs. I'm from New York. I'm an artist, and I'm a drummer too. This is my friend Stuart Pot. He's the vocalist of our band. My name. Is... I'm the leader, Master Nichols, and we are Gorillas with a Z. <laughs> well, then, <laughs> welcome home, Gorillas with a Z. I am so glad that you can stay in my home tonight. This mansion is a place where souls from all over the world are welcome. You may not believe it, but Beauty once lived in this house, and Beauty lives here still. Sure, she was my lovely Constance. It is terrible what destiny prepared for us, but you can never change someone's destiny. You find the love of your life. Until death do you part. 
But when hinges creak in doorless chambers and strange and frightening sounds echo through the halls, whenever candlelights flicker where the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present, practicing their terror with ghoulish delight. Well, what do you mean? They are still living with us. I think I'm done. I told you, he's crazy as hell. Boris, please take our guests to their rooms. We still have many. Let them rest in peace. <laughs> yes, my master. how we got to this place. We will have to spend the night here, but we will leave tomorrow morning. The owner of this place is a bit creepy, but I think he's kind of nice, though. Yeah, we've missed you here, except Madoc. Noodle, I forgot my toothpaste again. Uh, do you have any you can lend me? Sure. Say hello to Ace while I look for one for you in my backpack. Oh, hello. Eh? How you doing? Uh, nothing but rubbish. Oh, what a nice watch. Well, let's have a name on it. Yo, Muds. What are you doing there? Uh, oh, you know, I'm appreciating the place. You know, it's design, structure, something rustic, but it certainly stays in good shape, yes. Um, but you know what? I say petite petite, lows, our fat ones either, you know? Are you stealing? What? Me? The great man? Bloody hell, how dare you say such a thing? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm looking for the bathroom. Oh, sure, sure. Go ahead. Go ahead, but don't come here when you need me. What dim? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to the bathroom. So oh, jeez. Yeah, mate, it's just so good to see you too. God. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you. Well, to know. There is much to see. I'd hate to lose you so soon. Then he said to me, Oh, you have problems, pal? I said, Of course I have problems. Thanks for asking. And then he left furiously. I thought he was going to stop a fight at first, but after all, he only cared about me. Uh, D, I ring a tire of something because I, uh,. Oh. Whoops, look at that. Too deep, please. I think you should rest. Here, take it. Your toothpaste. Now go. Sweet. Thanks. Mate, for real, I, at first I thought you were a super weirdo, psycho guy. Like, like one of those, I don't know, like one of those guys from the movies or some crazy artist, you know. But I like you, I really like you. <laughs> I like you too, Murdoch. Uh, for real? Of course, actually, I could say that we are alike. What? What do you mean? Do you believe uh, in ghosts? Uh, uh, sure. As you can see, you seem to be someone important, someone who should be respected. You have charisma, you have sympathy, and you are a leader. Their leader. I used to be someone like you before. Everyone came to the mansion, where there were parties, all songs, laughter, and fun. But the most important thing is that they all came for me. They loved me. They saw in me what a great leader can be, and I lived up to my name. Until Constance. But things are not as always as they seem. I was no longer the same. I let anger blind me. People could no longer recognize me. People no longer liked me. I lost everything. Ending up as a dead 
lonely man with a huge mansion. What is the use of having everything if you have nothing? May I ask, what exactly happened to Conscience? I think your band should take more respect from you, Sir Nichols. What do you think? You are too nice. They need to stop being blinded by their envy and their ego. Only you are the one who could free them. You are the head of the team. You are everything. You're up high. Only you can't see it. What is the use in calling yourself a leader and dedicating your whole life to that if you cannot have the respect that they should have for you? To be respected. Loved. A figure which would be difficult to separate from their lives. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Sounds... Uh, nice. Follow me, Sir Murdoch Nichols. I'll show you the way. But, of course, there's only my way. How oh, beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hi, gozaimasu. Hi, guys. I'm going to be taking a shower right now. If you need anything, just call me. Last night, it took me a half an hour to find the bathroom. This place is a maze. Sure, I'll go to eat some breakfast. That Gracie guy told us breakfast will be served at 7 a.m. Okay, I'll go in a moment. Make sure Murdoch is ready to go. Oh, when the trumpet... Sounds a call, oh when the trumpet sounds a call, oh Lord I want to be in that number, when the saints go marching in. Oh dear, I'm sure hungry this morning. Where will breakfast be? I actually kind of fancy some Cocoa Pops. Wait, do you think Grosso is okay? He never takes that long to bathe. Oh, he'll be back. Uh, what if breakfast time ended an hour ago and everyone left? Jeez, just wait a moment. Maybe something happened. Hey, why don't you go with Grosso and make sure he's okay? Uh, all right, uh, but let me know if the breakfast is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right here. Russell! Hey, Russell, are you OK? Russell! Russell, are you here?
We have to get out of here. That woman is crazy. She tried to kill me. Judy, are you crazy? What was all that? Where's Russell? What? <gasps> the door is closed. Holy shit. Ah! Madoc, there were ghosts in here. Let's find Russell and get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, I don't think that's possible, Noodle. Actually, I would like to stay a little longer in this place, if you don't mind. Madoc, come on! Don't do this. Look, okay, you were right. It seems that your friend has decided to stay a little longer. Did you want to go somewhere? Too bad, I wanted them to stay a little longer. Why don't you obey him? Make yourselves comfortable. You were at home. What did you do to him? Oh, don't worry, dear. We are in good hands with Master Gracie. Now, if it'll excuse us, I'll see you all a little later. Ow. Noodle, I had a dream. Murdoch were trying to kill us again, but this time we, we were scared and he didn't look like he was acting. Oh, and we were in a haunted house, uh, like Saturn's bars, but they had ghosts instead of monsters. I think boy George was in my dream, but I, I don't remember very well. Guys, guys! Russell? Where have you been all this time? There's no time to explain. What? We're in a hurry. What is this thing? Excuse me. I am not a thing. Uh, I'm sorry, madam. Guys, this is Madame Leona. She's a psychic medium, manifesting as a disembodied head inside a misty crystal ball. She's able to send sympathetic vibrations to summon spirits from the other world. But for some reason, I'm sure it is. Leota, what can we do to save our friends? been able to contact ghosts in past years. to do to see the other spirits. Thank <laughs> you. 
through your place. Now go. Hurry. Just follow what I said before, and the curse won't be broken. Remember, you have until 12 p.m. to complete your mission. Oh, yes, and no flash pictures, please. We spirits are frankly sensitive to bright lights. Wow, being able to see ghosts is awesome. In the name of America, do you think you're going? You mortals can't be around here. The attic. Ah, the bride. Ooh. Yeah, wait, wait a second. I, I remember now. That wasn't a dream. Really? Oh, oh no, no, sir. There's no way I'm going to the attic. I won't be there. If we go there, we die. If we don't go there, we're gonna die too. Oh, come on, 2D. We have your back. Oh, all right. I, tr I trust you guys. Look. Seems Gracie wasn't the only lucky one. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Don't touch anything. I don't want any problems. Oh, too deep! What the fuck? I'm hungry! Ow. to be his hatter, she has such a pure heart. But I had lost my hope after he married Gracie. People had accused Constance of murdering their husbands, but I never believed that she was the one who did it. In 1923, at his last wedding, I knew that something bad was happening, and in the presence of that, I went to try and prevent that from happening again. But apparently, the suspicions were real. You never know how the person you have loved for your whole life is until you love them to death. So sweet and innocent was the Constance I met. I ended up dying that same day, but I never knew how. I just ended up dead, and my spirit has been condemned to be waiting for her, hoping that she changes so I can rest in peace. I never chose this, but it's part of my fault. Come on. This was not in you. None of that was your fault. We have all lost the people that we really care about. Go away. What do you know about this? It is none of your business. I shouldn't be talking to you foolish mortals. Get out of here. Oh, is that so? Well, then we should have broke the curse by our own. I hope we don't die. We don't need any help. But Noodle, we do need help, remember? Because if... Maybe don't talk now. 
Oh, dear God. You're here to break the curse. You're really here. Listen, I've changed my mind. Right now, I'll help you, but hurry. The owner of the mansion shouldn't know you are doing this. We'll curse you all. Excellent. But how do we get to the graveyard from here? Oh, don't worry. Now, I hope you're ready to see what's outside. Once you're doomed in crazy manner, it's always night time. Now, carriage approaches take you into the boundless realm of the supernatural. Take your loved ones by the hand, please. Kindly watch your steps. It is an honor to have you here, Sir Murdoch Nichols. He has handled everything very well. You will undoubtedly be someone very respected. I, I must thank you, mate. I haven't felt so important since 2010. 2010? Yeah, what a year. I mean, almost 10 years of that. Two months more and we'll be in 2020. I can feel it. It'll be a great year for me. Uh, I really would like to stay here, but... <laughs> have a performance to do at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. It's like one hour away from here, but I think we can make it in time if we leave now. So, you have to leave. But you can't leave. I, I don't want to do it either. No one leaves my own mansion. You don't understand. This mansion was built for people from all over the world to come here to enjoy themselves. Everyone enjoys this place to death. And if you think that you and your friends will leave this place, then you are wrong. But do not worry. You will enjoy all the company that surrounds you. Thank you.
There are several prominent ghosts who have retired here from creepy old crypts all over the world. Actually, we have 999 happy haunts here. But there's a room for a thousand. Any volunteers? If you insist on lagging behind, you may not need to volunteer. Someone wants some tea? Uh, no thanks. If you say so. But you'll miss the party then. Where are we going exactly? Directions, of course! Randall! <laughs> hey, how you been, pal? Oh, sure, pal. Uh, where are you heading? We're all asking for directions. If you know something, just tell us. Oh, of course. Yeah, you should ask that to Walt and the rest of the singing bus. They know this place better than me. Oh, not the singing bus. Ah, uh, sure, thanks. You'll know when we'll get here. Hey, you guys. Hey, look who's here. Our good friend Randall. Hello, my baby. Hey. Hello, my honey. Hey, that Hello, joke was getting funny for the movie. So you know, it's just getting annoying. The all died singing at a birthday party. The parents weren't the happiest people on earth. Say, Randall, want to hear our new song? Oh, no. They'll be singing all the time. They won't stop until they finish. Oh, come on, dude. We are musicians, too. We would get offended if someone left while we were playing our new song. Not a new song. They've have been playing that since 1916. It's a never-ending song. And the two, and those creak and the two songs quake. Who's come up for swing and wait? Happy haunts materialize. And the angel mobilizes when bring us to socialize. Let's get out of here. dream again and oh fuck hey don't say that that potty mouth is unwelcome here the good spirits would know you are being nasty oh my god why are you so small i am 14 years old no 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 i mean i mean your size oh i don't know Last thing I remember is when I was having a party with pirates. But then they started to get mad at me. I was later, I woke up being a doll. Are you a doll? I guess so. I was very scared of pirates. We're here! We're here! Guys! Tootie, are you okay? Oh, Tootie! I thought you were dead. Me too. It's almost time. Hey, uh, listen. If we don't make it back in time, well, I'll be okay. After all, we're a family. Hey, look. We're all together. That's the only thing that matters. Maybe that's what we needed. There's no way to change our destiny. <sighs> we need to get old, but... <sighs> we need to get... you guys. Harry, Harry! We must remove the corpse from its grave. We still have time. Ice. What are we doing, Grace? 
trace his grave. Where the hell is he? You ghost better not be messing around with us. That ball told us to bring back the owner of the mansion inside to break the curse. Grace is the owner of the mansion? Who is it? Leota. Come on, guys! We got a mansion to save! Guys, shut up! We are not done with you. What the hell is this nonsense? Listen, man, we really gotta get out of here. No one leaves. Listen, we need to find Leota. She's the only one who can break the curse. Leota? How do you know about her? You really need to wake up, man. We don't have time for your bullshit. I'm sorry, you guys. No! Sorry, guys. I think I let myself get carried away by my temptations once again and put everyone's lives at risk once more. I don't deserve anyone's forgiveness. You were right, Murdoch. This time, you were right. Look, the bride! <gasps> Oh, 
nonsense. Everything is okay? No. Everything has been a lie. I never thought I was so stupid, useless. I did such horrible things for being so blind. I don't deserve to rest in peace. Hey, you didn't have to say those things. I mean, you did things, but we all make mistakes. We've all been stupid, even the smartest person. It's not your fault. You only wanted to feel good with yourself. And you didn't know the damage that you were doing. And you did not do it with bad intention. That shows your innocence. Do you think so? With all my heart. In that case, I will stay on Earth at the moment. Be a good person and help others. But I am not going to seek to sympathize with others. Only to make people better. Really help them. Cleanse my soul when I'm ready to do it. Rise up. There's still a lot to live for. Well, we are still in time for the concert. <laughs> so, Gracie, mate, why don't you come with us to the concert? Concert? And 
enough. That's not funny. Be sure to bring your death certificate if you decide to join us. Make final arrangements now. We've been dying to have you. <laughs>